So hi guys, this is uh, video 24 I believe and I've had to do a voiceover on this one because while I was recording it there was so much noise going on outside with lawnmowers and building work I couldn't hear myself think. So anyway, I've got done the um, rat lines on the foremast, main mast and I have, um, or I'm just about to start doing the uh, other side of the footocks I'm trying to get that done um, I also put the backstay the other backstay on here which I didn't I noticed I didn't have on I showed in a previous video how to do that that's on the foremast and I've got the same to do again on the main mast then I'm going to show you how to do the sails something a bit different um, because the rigging is taking so much time, uh, it's getting a bit boring. Anyway, the sails, if you can see, uh, I've cut this one out and I've started to uh, fix the the rope around the edges of it. It's just a loop over stitch. Just keep going round and round. Another tedious job and there's loads of them. Um, and it's fairly it's a fairly thick rope that I'm using. I think this is one I had left over. I don't think this was with the kit. Um, but you can see the rough sort of size of it. So I just cut a piece of the right length and then the same colour um, for the stitching, more or less. I think it's the same colour. Just got to hold it along the back and then just uh, tack it on. I go round it, um, put the needle through underneath it, but odd times I will put the needle through it, through the rope. Um, so it just catches it and holds it in place a bit better. You don't need to, but it's, it's what I do. So that's it, just got to keep going like that. Forever and ever and ever. And this is the smallest sail. It did take me quite a while to do it. Just keep going, keep pulling it fairly tight. But don't pull it so tight that it gathers it up. So we've got all that done and you've got to create the loops in the corners as well don't forget that. And then I'm going to show you how to, uh, well, I've overlapped the sides there, the ends, just a bit of super glue. So we need to stain it, um, which I use T. And then stretch it or fix it into the correct shape. For that, you need a box like this. So you can just hang the sail inside it and some uh, string of some sort that will support it. Thank you. 
Let's just tie one to each corner. You see, I tie, I tie a loop. So you don't want to, um, you don't want to pull it tight around the existing loop because you cut these off later. Don't need to support it in the box. I need smaller fingers. There we go. Let's do all four like that. See how small those loops are on the corner, you need to keep them fairly small, otherwise when the uh, rigging lines pull them, they just look out of scale, they look too big. So keep your loops on the corners small when you're doing the stitching. So there we go, that's all four done. Now we just need to um, stain it and hang it in the box. Right, so we'll give it a go. We've um, got all the corners of the sails tied. I put pins in the outside of the box to fasten them to. I've just made a Pot of cold, well, still warm. Pot of tea, little cup of tea here, um, to stain the sail down. And I've also got a food bag, half full of water. It's a little food bag. This will stretch the sail. So the first thing is to stain it down. I'll try and get everything in. Camera probably make a right mess everywhere with this. Just hope it's cooled down enough. Yeah, it's not too bad. I will say that now that um, we're struggling to do all this rigging because it all takes so much time. I mean, it's taken me ages just to sew around this one sail, and it's the smallest. I'm going to start doing videos once every two weeks, not every week, it's too much every week. I can't get enough done to uh, to make it worthwhile showing you anything. So once every two weeks, uh, until I get the blue nose, which isn't far away. And I'll do one for each, and I just squeeze that out. Yep, all over the table as I thought. Oh, it's only tea. And then the other thing that I didn't say we need is starch. I prefer to use um, the powdered starch that you mix with water, but it's getting a bit difficult to get hold of. So anyway, that's stained it down a bit. So I've got just ordinary spray starch. I don't know whether this will work or not, to be honest, which is why I'm trying it on the small one. Give it a good coat of it anyway. Phew, stinks. Right. I'm covered in it as well now.
So I'll just start tying it off. Just wrapping it round and round and round. God, really stinks of starch. Hold. And then I'm just going to let this dry so it's going to be cut again until the video is going to be cut again until tomorrow after doing this. And don't pull them too tight. They don't want to be tight. Just leave them uh, just so it's suspended. And there we go. And then I need to position this. Use the side. Don't don't put the bottom on it like that. Just try and use the side. Otherwise you might get an imprint of the bottom so we'll do that and hopefully it'll hold it there we go and that's it i can't do any more now until tomorrow till that's till that's dried hopefully dried so i'll go and put it somewhere safe in case it soaks through um, and i'll come back tomorrow Okay, it's another day and uh, hopefully this sail has dried and is starched. Um, we'll have a look. Let's take the water bag off. And undo it all. Looks good so far. Not sure about this spray starch because like I said, um, like to use the uh, when you mix with water, you can give it a good soak. But I did give it rather a lot of spray on this. Sorry if there's any background noise going. I'm cutting the grass again. Somewhere earlier in this video, I've done uh, the voiceover afterwards because of building noise and lawn mowers. Such is life. Okay. Moment of truth is lifted out. Pull that out of the way. I need that again. There we go. So we've got the Got the shape, got the corners looking a bit stretched, which gives good effect on these. Uh, I think this sail is the lower foresail. So, let's try and get around to where you can see. We'll be going. Let's get rid of all these bits of cotton first. String, it's a string. Just cut them off for now. Make sure I don't cut my loops. Oh, 
like I said, I'll see how I go this week um, with what I get done. But um, all this work on the rigging is so time consuming that uh, I don't think I'll be able to do a video every week. But we'll see. And I will be getting the blue nose soon. I know I keep promising, but it will happen. So there, once that's in there, with all the rigging on it, it should look quite good. Yeah, it's not bad that. So, you've gone from a folded, folded sheet of sails, which is what you get. Just cut it out, like I did from there. So many of them to do, look. And then, just go through it again. I took, some of this thread, it's quite thick. Something like that. And just start sewing it in around the edges. When you get to the end, what I did was just overlapped it. You can hardly see it. I need to trim these bits off now, the glue set, but you overlap it, just keep binding away, and then I just glued it, just put a bit of super glue on there to stick the ends. And it's just loop, 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 loop all the way around. Just do it carefully and keep it nice and even. It comes out and looks okay. So I'll do some more of those. I will do as much rigging as I possibly can. See if I can come back next week with something new. If not, it will be the following week. So at the moment, what I've got done is I've got the other footocks put on there. So they're both on the main mast. Uh, she's got the rat lines to complete on the other side and the rat lines to do on this side. And then I've got the same to do on the foremast again. Both sides, that's to do. If I get that done and I get on to doing the um, top shrouds, then I'll do a bit of filming on that. But there's no point in just repeating and repeating stuff while we're doing the rigging. I've shown you how to do it all. What you want to do now is see the finished, finished thing. Okay. So we'll see you next time.